So let's start with the first question, first thing that we are going to learn today, which is find out how to watch plan quality in real time and then dive into alerts and issues to root cause production problems fast. So when we talk about QDM, QDM it provides you a structured drop down, top down approach to look at this data. Um, first, to be able to look at the data from a production, plant, and supplier level. Monitoring production, this data at, at, at a very high level, rolling up all the data that's provided from, from your shop floor into a plant level quality, a supplier level quality, or a product level quality KPI metrics with live dashboards. Then from there, we go one level deeper to a subsystem level quality, quality it could be a line or a department or a or a certain assembly or a sub assembly that we are looking at from there uh, we drill down to historic trends of high level summary at the part level the individual parts that are inspected in your in your and shop floor in your quality labs from there we take we want to do a spc analysis with that data taking the last 30 50 100 samples whatever was measured with a CAD graphical SPC report, which is highlights the issues in a easy decision making format. Drill down further into feature level to identify the, the failed features and what what the quality engineer need to pay attention to for root causing and problem solving. And analyze that selected feature from an SPC perspective. Once we identify that uh, feature, go to uh, still identify the samples or sample or samples that uh, uh, that failed and take corrective action in the system. So providing a very intuitive top-down approach, starting from the product plant all the way drilling down to a single sample that caused the problem is what QDM provides as a as an uh, in, in, in a single web-based portal. So let's uh, look at an enterprise, a company, uh, an automotive company, who's got multiple product types that they are, they are manufacturing uh, for, for automotive uh, industry. There's a lighting uh, product type division, there's a stamping product type division and an assembly. Data could be coming from one or multiple OEM plans and multiple suppliers and the company may be making programs for multiple different vehicle lines. So to be able to see this 100,000 view, uh, 100,000 um, feet overview of the, of the data at a very high level is what, uh, that's where we would start today. So let me go to the this software and I'm going to, um, uh, sign out and start from the beginning. So this is a web-based portal from QDM Web. But I'm going to log in as an administrator. And we're going to start with, at a very high level, uh, enterprise level view of how the data is being managed within the system. Now we wanted to get a little bit deeper. So give me one second here. So we're going to click on this. I want to know everything about a program. So I'm going to click on the Z1. So now it takes me to a dashboard, which tells me what is the overall pass rate of the Z1 program and their individual statistics, whether it's up or down from the last time, and also all the components that contributed to that uh, to that pass rate. There are data for that particular Z1 program coming from a lighting supplier from A. There is some data coming from a lighting supplier B. There's also some data coming from OEM plants and also from stamping plants. Um, so the ability to, to go into um, to each one of the data. Now we are gonna we're gonna drill down to the stamping OEM plant one. Looking at this data, we're seeing all these are at 100%, but there is one plant that's 
uh, that's not meeting its requirement and it's at a at a lower percentage of pass rate so we're going to drill down and uh, look at that data so that particular plant is making the doors and it's running at a 90% uh, pass rate so but before we even get here we could uh, we could look at a live dashboard so we can identify the different components, the headlamp assembly, the door inner, all the components that are made by these plants and the and, and the plant that's an, in, in a Pareto chart with whether it's up or down from the last, uh, uh, last run. We want to know a little bit more about this particular uh, part that's uh, performing down. So we can click on that to see how was the last 20 components that are made for that door and what was this percentage pass rate on a table form and also as a dashboard. So this gives the quality engineer an idea of how has it been trending over a period, whether it's uh, getting better or uh, is there some corrective actions that need to be taken. So it provides you a historical view with a dashboard for that particular program. So now we're going to identify, uh, going back to the system, uh, we're going to look at the, the, the doors. I'm going to go uh, further down to look at all the subsystems that are made under the door. There is a left-hand door inner. That's probably where the, the cause of the problem is. So I'm going to click on that to get into what we call a navigation page for that particular part number or that particular inspection program. Basically, it shows you uh, 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 one sheet for everything about that particular part. Um, we could uh, quickly go and uh, I want to look at the last 20 samples. Now that we have identified the this part has the problem. So I'm going to go to the last 20 parts and it's at 84.9 and I'm going to generate a, a graphical report for this particular part. So what it's doing is it's taking the last 20 uh, samples for this particular parts and running it through a CAD based graphical SPC engine to create a real time report for the last 20 parts for the for the door, the left hand door with uh, a, with a graphical index page showing where the measurements were, where, whether those measurements are pass or fail and the page number that you would see the results for that particular uh, section of the door. So if you kind of scroll down, you'd see the entire report with a graphical CAD with different views, with uh, uh, SPC charts, with color-coded SPC charts for all your SPC metrics, with a trend line, and with leader lines pointing to where the measurements are. So a quality engineer can review this particular uh, program. And uh, then they might, it's got a lot of features they're measuring. We wanna only show the features that failed. So I'm gonna go to feature filters, say use this filter based on my uh, spec limit. We only wanna see the features that are red and give me a filtered report. So now the system system generates a real time report for for this part um, with uh, still working on it. Um, it gives me a report of all the failed features that belongs to uh, this particular part. Um, just give it a minute. Uh, okay. Yep. So now this is generating a report, all the features that failed based on the spec limit on this door. And uh, so you would prop, you would see there is only, um, the only few features. This is telling me where the failed features are. And it also, uh, gave me a subset of the report are only the features that fail. I want to know a little bit more about this particular feature. So I'm going to click about this feature, um, which is causing me a problem. So we need we see some spikes or outliers. And uh, 
this uh, again looks like it's taken a little bit more time to refresh uh, during the the go to meeting session. Um, but it's all have it's there is no software that uh, that's installed on the PC. Everything happens on the server, and this is a web based uh, web based tool. Um, so this could be accessed anywhere within your organization uh, through an internet browser as long as you are in the network. Uh, where you could access the website. Let me give it a second for it to upload. I think with the GoToMeeting running, it's, um, it's it's taken up some time. You could also um, filter based on any statistic based on CP, CPK, PP, PPK, or any of the values that you wanted to look for. Filter data based on any statistic criteria and generate real-time reports. So now we looked at a report for a certain feature, and now the quality engineer can look at that data on, as from a Six Sigma perspective on what could be the probable cause is this. Uh, uh, there, are, there are two peaks and uh, there's a histogram that's showing if i have more data the histogram will be more pronounced um, on what type of distribution are we seeing there is also a trend chart showing you the val the, the 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 deviation and the sample number and also a process control chart to see if there is any process variation that's happening so when i click on one of these items now i'm seeing that's made that part that feature is made um, sample number 23 that's are made on 323 322 at 10.54 a.m. We can um, now assign a cost to this um, and uh, the, the user can uh, uh, create um, any type of corrective actions or log any type of corrective actions. With that, let me go back to, so what we did is we started at very high level at the company level. We drilled down to the Z1 program and looked at the, the different components that's uh, contributing to the quality of the Z1 program. Then we drilled down from there to the subsystem level to find out that one, identified that one program that is causing the quality issues very quickly from the entire, you might be making hundreds of thousands of parts, it's very quickly, it sorts them and um, um, highlights so that you can pick um, zero in on the, on, the, on the part that's causing the issue. Then we went to the subsystem level and we looked at the detailed part level um, statistics and how the part has been running. Then we filtered that data, took the last N20 samples. We created a graphical report. The system created a CAD-based graphical report for the quality engineer. We filtered to the failed features and uh, identified a feature that caused the issue and uh, uh, we we were we looked at it from a Six Sigma perspective, from a problem SPC perspective on problem and process, whether it's a process variation or a part variation or an outlier. And then we could also click on that particular point and annotate that data point to, oh, that cost because of a tool breakage for that entire sample, we can ignore the sample and submit the note. And that's carried over to the database for anybody who's looking at this data later will be able to to analyze this uh, this information. Um, so basically, we uh, for for this topic uh, today, we started at the plant product level, drilled down to the subsystem, moved to the part level, the lab, and drilled down to get a CAD SPC report for the last ten samples. It could, we can also filter for any date range, but in this particular case, I picked up the last uh, last twenty samples. Um, the features uh, the feature level report and then finally identifying a sample and taking corrective actions. So very quickly, we were able to drill down and solve a problem from, uh, from all your part numbers. And this is something um, that's an uh, invaluable tool from, for, for a quality engineer to be able to quickly zero in on a problem and um, take corrective action from this multiple part numbers that are being manufactured on the shop floor.